Now, it's not uncommon in Blender to want to take two objects or maybe multiple objects and turn them into a single object. And there's lots of reasons to do that. And it's pretty easy and pretty quick to do in Blender. So here you can see I have two cubes. If I select a both of those cubes, I can then press Control J and they become a single object. We can see that that they move together. If I unselect them and select one of them, we select both of them. And if I go into edit mode, you can see that I'm editing both of them as if they were a single object, which they are. Now, it's also pretty common to take a single object and split it into multiple objects. And we can do that pretty quickly and pretty easily. So if I go up to the mesh menu and then to separate, we've got three options here, two of which I use pretty frequently. That is selection and by loose parts. So for example, if I select a face like this and then come back up to the mesh, separate and go selection, it took that object that was selected and it's now its own separate object. Pretty neat, pretty handy. If I undo that, go back into edit mode. I can then come back up to mesh, separate, and we can do loose parts. What this is going to do is it's going to detect which objects are separated from each other and turn them into their own unique objects. And in our case with the two cubes, that's pretty handy. We'll do by loose parts. We go back into object mode. You can now see that the cubes are separate and we can move them around because they're two separate objects.